Yes, I mean, thank you. New this morning, a man in prison for over 30 years is fighting for closure. Stanley Rice is suing the city of Chicago, claiming he was tortured into confessing by corrupt detectives. But the city is fighting back. CBS 2's Eric Cox is live outside the Dirksen Federal Courthouse to break down this trial. Good morning, Eric. Good morning to you, Ryan. Rice was exonerated of his rape conviction in 2013, but never actually received a certificate of innocence from the Cook County court system. And this morning, his story, as well as the dark history of disgraced former Chicago Police Commander John Burge, are both expected to be brought back to light in the courtroom. Now, the city acknowledges that more than 200 people were tortured under Burge's instruction between 1972 and 1991. Stanley Rice says he's among that unfortunate group. The 65-year-old claiming he was handcuffed in a cell and beaten until he gave a false confession back in 1982. Rice's attorneys say medical evidence supports his injuries, and unlike several previous Burge cases where a settlement was reached, the city is slated to fight back this time. Because Rice was never actually ruled innocent, attorneys are expected to defend the two detectives that Rice says are responsible for the 31 years he spent in prison. I would never forget them. They took my life from me. They took my family from me. They took my kids from me. They took everything I had for 31 years. You know, and I can never forget that. Jury selection and opening arguments are set to begin at 10 this morning. So far, the city has shelled out over $1.5 million to the private lawyers that they've hired to work on this case. For now, I'm Eric Cox reporting live outside the Dirksen Federal Courthouse, CBS 2 News.